Shalom Kharim in a world of Ain Shalom. I just wanted to keep you guys updated. Turkey is starting to show the side they will stand on when we see the foreign minister of Turkey now coming out saying that Assad has killed a million people and must go. As I said all along, it seems like to me that Erdogan will definitely not be on the side of Russia if he goes into a conflict with the United States, who is, by the way, a NATO partner of the U.S. In that case there, Russia will stand alone with possibly Iran on their side in Syria, which is not a whole lot of help unless China steps in as well. But the thing is, is when it comes to Turkey, we have followed this from the beginning that the Turkish president, the last time President Trump struck Syria, said he cheered him like a cheerleader, but said it wasn't enough. Now the foreign minister coming out saying that Assad must go. There must be a new political leadership. And of course, what do they want? They do not want a democratic Middle East. They would like to have a jihadist Middle East, one that supports terror, one that does not care for Israel but rather will become a true enemy of Israel. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live in a world of Ain Shalom. There is no peace.